Los Angeles students are a critical step closer to a return to campus beginning in mid-April under a tentative agreement reached Tuesday between the Teachers' Union and the LA Unified School District, signaling a new chapter in an unprecedented year of coronavirus forced school closures. The agreement, which must be ratified by members, establishes safety parameters for a return to campus and lays out a markedly different schedule that still relies heavily on online learning. The school day would unfold under a so-called hybrid format, meaning that students would conduct their studies on campus during part of the week and continue with their schooling online at other times. Families would retain the option of keeping students in distance learning full-time. In a statement, UTLA President Cecily Meyert Cruz said the agreement provided safeguards and reassurance. With all of our key safety protocols met, this agreement reflects a uniform health and safety plan that we can be proud of as educators and that puts us on the path for a safe return, across LAUSD and in all of our schools," Meyert Cruz said. District officials provided a joint statement from Meyert Cruz and L Schools SUPT. Austin Boitner. As we have both stated for some time, the right way to reopen schools must include the highest standard of COVID safety in schools, continued reduction of the virus in the communities we serve and access to vaccinations for school staff, they said in the statement. This agreement achieves that shared set of goals. It's our shared commitment to the highest safety standards and spirit of trust and collaboration we will take with us back to schools. Under the agreement, members of United Teachers Los Angeles, which represents teachers, nurses, counselors and librarians, would not have to return to work until they have had access to COVID-19 vaccinations and have achieved maximum immunity, a period of up to six weeks. That duration period, plus the amount of time needed to get vaccination appointments, is the main driver of a district timetable aiming to restart elementary schools on April 19. The union has not signed off on a specific return date. Middle and high schools would open later in April or early in May, according to a district source who was not authorized to speak on the record. Another condition for a return is that Los Angeles County enter the state's red tier, which would mean that the county is one step improved from the purple tier, the worst level of widespread coronavirus infection in the community. That parameter appears to be within reach, as the county is expected to leave the purple tier and enter the red tier within days. If approved, the agreement would bring a measure of certainty to the remainder of the academic year for the families of 465,000 in kindergarten through 12th grade in the nation's second-largest school system.